I was scrolling through my Instagram feed and I got this, uh, an ad, a suggested, uh, or whatever, an ad. So I got some, an ad from, uh, this fucking kid. Uh, <laughs> I think he's trying to be a rapper. I'm not sure, but he was covered in the shittiest face tattoos I've ever seen. I'll put his, I want to put his, uh, Instagram and his face up there. Now, maybe I'll censor out his Instagram. Actually, I don't want, I don't want anybody to go make fun of the boy. Uh, aside from me doing it openly on a YouTube, but I'm not going to call him out by name, right? Just use his face. Uh, but he had the worst fucking face tattoos I've ever seen, which in, we're, we're going to get into this here. Fa- any face tattoo is a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. You're fucked. If you're getting face tattoos, you're a fucking idiot. Straight up. Sorry. Unless you're in prison and you're trying to stay alive, so you got to get your gangs, your favorite gang members tattoo under your eye. I don't know. You're sucking dicks and whatever, and you got to survive. Get your face tattooed. Do what you got to do to survive in prison, okay? But all the... I see fucking, like... I'm out, like, at fucking Burger King. I'm just like, can I get a Whopper? And I look next to me, and they're just like... Some teenage girl is like, what am I going to get? And they're just like... Just face tattoos everywhere. I'm just like, what in the fuck is going on here? Uh, It's obviously a fashion trend, right? It's, uh, It's a very trendy thing to have a face tattoo... It's it's like, you know, you look back on like pictures in the 90s of your dad and he had a mullet and everybody's like, <laughs> you used to have a mullet. That's and he's like, they were in style back then. That's just what we everyone had a mullet. You had a mullet. Look at your second grade picture. Look at my dumb ass. I had a mullet. Uh, everybody had a mullet, right? It was the style. It was cool. But now it's it's not right. It's like, wow, that's fucked. Uh, business in the front party in the back looks fucked. Maybe you're like, nah, dude, it's sick to have a mullet because that's ironically cool. Fuck you. Uh, mullets are not cool sorry um but yeah it's a fashion thing right so you you you, you may you well, first of all maybe you're sitting here like you're wearing a fucking beanie in summertime guess what i can take it off <laughs> God, my hair looks good Whew. go see my supersonic uh <laughs> racing video for a comment on that um whoo let's focus here focus <laughs> But anyways, I can take my hat off, right? You can grow your mullet out. You can cut your mullet, oh, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. They're fashion styles, fashion trends, fashion, 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 right? But face tattoos, <laughs> well, they're a little more permanent uh, than a mullet or a beanie, right? It's on your fucking face for the rest of your life. Unless you get it removed, which maybe they're going to get some better uh, fa- tattoo removing uh, procedures i don't know because I, I, there's there's people that i know that have i mean i don't know them personally but i i know them uh that have face tattoos that uh, are getting them removed but you can still see them it's like still there and it's like a really long process costs a lot of money it's like why the fuck did you get the goddamn batman uh logo under your eye anyways like what the fuck did that do for anybody besides draw eyes to you which is i think a big part of people getting face tattoos they want people to look at them like because like i said you go into fucking walmart or whatever and you're walking around you're not really paying attention to anybody you see people but if you see some motherfucker come around the corner and his face looks like a like a second grader's notebook of scribble scrabble you're gonna be like holy fuck you might even try to sneak a couple pics in there like oh, let me just get this here and that's what these people want you know what i mean they want to stand out they want to stand out above the crowd even if they got a tattoo of their face um so that's uh, just don't do it if you're getting a face tattoo this is this rant is very incoherent but i saw this on my instagram and i had i was i was just thinking to myself i'm like what in the fuck is wrong with people jesus christ and you're like well rappers do it it's cool that's the whole reason why people do it is because it's trendy it's cool you see post malone and every other every major rapper pretty much coming out is stupider than the last and has more face tattoos than the last like dude look he got his he got his homeboy's name tattooed right under his eye that's so sick he does not give a fuck dude he's making millies dog that's gonna be me no that's not gonna be you. you're gonna be working at target uh with really really cheap face tattoos and looking like a fucking joker and everyone thinks it's funny they're not going to tell you to your face because that would that's that's suicidal at that point right you're gonna you're just gonna fall into the depths of depression if you if everyone came up to him was like you know you're a fucking idiot because your face looks like a goddamn uh second you 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 fell asleep around a second grader with a sharpie do you understand that 
Um, they're gonna just they're gonna be really upset, or else gonna be like, "Fuck the haters! I'm motivated by the haters." No, you're not. You're not. Okay. We know it gets to you. Uh, my case uh, for that is the guy that was sponsored on uh, my Instagram feed had a lot of hate comments, and he kept deleting them. And it led me to a friend of his who was another wannabe rapper. Each of these guys had like a couple hundred followers each. Uh, I don't even think either one of them broke a thousand. But uh, they had, they, they, they're going nowhere, obviously. They look like jokers. They're acting like jokers. There's people that get joker face tattoos that get, try to model their face after the joker. So <laughs> it's pretty fucked. But yeah, these guys are going uh, nowhere, right? They're, they're trying to live, like they're trying to fake it till they make it not happening. But it led me to this other guy's page. He had just a shitty uh face tattoos and their whole gimmick is like their whole promoting their it's like their whole identity is their face tattoos every fucking picture on their feeds was oh check it out look look at my face can you believe that i did this this is this is crazy i'm i'm not like you i'm not like everyone else i'm a fucking idiot that's what i see with it um yeah, I don't know. Just uh, why why are people getting face tattoos? Like why 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 do people think like you know I want to look like the Joker? I really like the Joker. Joker's a great character. I want to I want to put fake scars on my face and people are gonna think that's sick. No one thinks it's sick. Not one single person. You're a fucking joke to everybody. Um, and these rappers getting it and they have millions of dollars and uh, obviously they're gonna eventually they're fucking dumb as shit. Like Little Pump is fucking retarded. He will have you have you seen videos like i can barely even read and like all this other dumb shit he can't solve the most basic of math equations you think this motherfucker is gonna be able to (laughs) like if if people that were popular in the 80s and early 90s aren't weren't able to keep up their uh money and live up to the lifestyle like you know mc mc hammer whoever else dmx whatever other people that fell off big time and are struggling pretty hard you think lil pump is going to be able to maintain the lifestyle that he's on right now, he's going to be fucked, all right? He's probably going to be dead, honestly. He's probably going to overdose on, on Xanax or some bullshit like that and be dead. But if he doesn't, he's not. He's going to be out of money and fucked by the time he's, like, 35. He's going to look like a joke. They're going to be, like, little pictures of him being fat in a tabloid, like, with the face tattoos. Like, little pump caught uh, snorting meth off of a hooker's asshole uh, in downtown Los Angeles or some bullshit like that. Um... It's just, you, you're just going to look like a joker. It's like, it's like, it's like, we see old people now, people, you know, for the most part, respect old people, right? So you see old people now, and you're like, man, those are great people. Those are good people, you know what I mean? They, they got, they're kind usually, they're, they don't like to cuss a lot. They're from a, they're from a more, uh, a softer generation, I guess I'll say. Um, but you see them and you got a, a level of respect for them, right? They talk about their old music and it's like endearing. You're like, oh, you, oh, grandma. Like just this soft music. What I do, what I do. They like some, you know, random whatever bullshit or like Frank Sinatra or, or whatever, you know, just some fun. Uh, it's like light stuff, right? And these people with face tattoos, they're going to get older and the face, face tattoos are going to go out of style, right? They're not going to be popular anymore. Uh, just like anything else, just like everything else. It's a fucking... Like, just look at the last, like, few years. Face tattoos have popped up all across America everywhere. It's a fucking... It's clear as day that it's a fad. But it's one that's, like, fuck... It's permanent because we're so fucking stupid now. We don't realize that, oh, wait a minute. This is going to be really difficult to deal with down the line. Oops. Uh, But, yeah, these people are going to get older and they're going to be like, Grandpa, why do you have all those marks on your face? Why do you have... Why do you have a money sign under your eyeball? That's kind of weird. And they're going to be like, well, when I was younger... We had this rapper, he was a musical artist back then, his name was Blueface. He said, Blueface, baby. He had Benjamin Franklin on the side of his face. It was the darndest thing. They called him Blueface because $100 bills were blue back then, and he was a crip. He was associated with the Crip Gang. Yeah, mm mm-hmm. He had a popular song called Tatiana. It's talking about promiscuous women. And we just thought it was the darndest thing. So we went and we got us some face tattoos too because we wanted to look just like Blueface and, and Trippy Red and all our other favorite rappers back then. They all had face tattoos. It was it was really something. It was really something to see. It was really cool. You could just walk around to any music festival and, and just see all kinds of crazy stuff on people's face. It was a different time. Well, Grandpa, you look dumb as fuck now. He goes, oh, I know. It was just a fad back then, but... You know, a face tattoo removal is expensive and it's painful and, and I just never got around to it. So now I look like a fucking idiot, right? Goes, yeah, Grandpa. Yeah, you do. 
Um, so instead of doing the face tattoos and stuff, can we just bring mullets back or something that's temporary? Can we can we bring like I don't know what was fucking cool. Bring bring suits back. Can we walk around in suits again like we're in like the nineteen like forties and fifties or something like some greaser type of guys with the with our dickies on and our and our wife beaters or some shit like that. Something that looks you know, it's fun. We can all do it and then we can take it off and move on to the next thing. But face tattoos I don't know, maybe 10 years from now, it's gonna, we're going to look back on it and be like, wow, you guys were, you guys, we, we thought you were idiots back then, but god damn, it is solidified now. You are a fucking moron. So, uh, just my, just some ramblings. Just more ramblings so I can't fucking walk because my foot is hell on earth right now. I would show you, but it's too graphic for, uh, for YouTube. I'm getting warts removed in case you didn't know. And I have not been walking much. Uh, lately because it's uh it's fucking it hurts all right they put they put acid on my feet and then it blisters up and it's hell it's not fun but hey i got these pokemon cards right here that i found in a box in my room so that's that's something right but i'll make some other stuff besides rambling like i like to do soon maybe some yoshi maybe some little niece maybe i don't know who knows but stay the fuck tuned